Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Angela Mills, president of SAEM, and I'm here to welcome you all to our second keynote address and our plenary session. Today, we're showcasing the latest advancements in emergency medicine education through a special keynote address and the presentation of the top educational research abstracts at SAEM 22. I hope you're all as excited as we are. To get us started, please welcome Dr. Deb Dirks, Chair of the SAM Awards Committee, to recognize the second half of this year's award winners. All right, let's get going. So thank you, Dr. Mills. We have another outstanding group of colleagues to recognize today. Let's begin with one of our most prestigious National Education Awards, the Hal Jane Excellence in Education Award. This award is presented for outstanding contributions to emergency medicine through the teaching of others and the improvement of pedagogy. It was a long night. Um, <laughs> we're in New Orleans. Give me a break. OK. Um, <laughs> it is my honor to present this year's Hal Jane Excellent in Education Award to Marianne Gosche Hill. Right. Dr. Gosche Hill attended medical school at University of California, Los Angeles, graduating in a year I will not name. She has completed her residency training in emergency medicine at Harbor UCLA Medical Center and went on to complete a fellowship in pediatric emergency medicine under the supervision of Dr. Jim Seidel. Dr. Gashay Hill served as faculty at Harvard UCLA and is, was promoted during the, that time to professor of clinical emergency medicine and pediatrics at the David, David Gesson School of Medicine. From 2001 to 2011, she directed both the EMS and pediatric emergency medicine fellowships at Harvard UCLA, mentoring 31 fellows as well as countless residents and medical students. Since 2015, Dr. Gashay Hill has served as medical director of Los Angeles County Emergency Medicine Services while maintaining her role as clinical faculty at Harvard UCLA Medical Center. She was instrumental in leading the Los Angeles County's response to the COVID-19 pandemic and, uh, and uh, continuing the, distri the distribution of medical equipment and medications to hospitals countywide. She's received numerous awards for her contribution to pediatric emergency medicine, pediatric readiness, and emergency medical services. Congratulations, Dr. Gashay Hill. The next award is the Arnold Gold Foundation Humanism in Medicine Award. This award honors a practicing emergency physician who exemplifies compassionate, patient-centered care. The Arnold P. Gold Foundation Humanism and Medicine Award goes to Kathy Lissing from University of California, San Francisco. Although not here, we can still recognize her excellence. She is an attending physician at the Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital and Trauma Center and an assistant clinical pro professor in emergency medicine at UCSF. She works clinically in the emergency department and, uh, and on both the medical toxicology and the inpatient addiction medical medicine consultation services. She serves in the, as the emergency department lead for the hospital-wide addiction care team. Her career has largely focused on enhancing care for patients with substance use disorders. Her work includes implementation of the West Coast's first pre-hospital naloxone distribution program, provision of phone consultations in California, physicians regarding uh, medicine for opioid use disorder, initiation of hospital-wide harm reduction initiatives, initiatives, and development of workflows for effective emergency medicine department addiction care. She has led multiple grant-funded projects in this capacity with support of local, state, and federal, federal level with numerous peer-reviewed publications. Dr. Lassane has dedicated her career to serving vulnerable patient populations and she strives to maintain humanism and compassion in everyday patient care. Right. Our next award 
is the Foam Ed Excellence in Education Award. This award honors an SAA member who has made outstanding contributions to the online learning community of emergency medicine through innovation and engaging FOMED content. The FOMED Excellence in Education Award goes to Tim, Timothy Horesco at UCLA, Harbor UCLA Medical Center. Accepting on his behalf will be Mar Marianne Garchet. Yep. <laughs> All right. Dr. Horetzko is an associate professor of clinical emergency medicine at the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA and is a po program director for the Pediatric Emergency Medicine Fellowship at Harbor UCLA Medical Center in Torrance, California. He is the creator, producer, and host of a medical education monthly podcast, Pediatric Emergency Medicine Playbook, which is hosted in a unique format of personalized one-on-one -on -one lectures for the digital age covering state-of-the-art approaches to the management of pediatric emergencies. Furthermore, he has offered several peer-reviewed and online publications, editorials, case reports, abstracts, and book chapters. Given his experience in the field of pediatric emergency medicine, Dr. Horetzko has been an invited speaker at multiple local, national, and international conferences. He is an exemplary educator and has deservedly been the recipient of multiple teaching awards. Congratulations, Dr. Retzko. Right. Our next award is the Mentor Award. This award honors an SAM member who has mentored the career and advancement of other SAM members and, and emergency physicians. This award goes to Michael Mello from Albert Medical School, Brown University. Accepting this award on behalf of Dr. Mello is Dr. A oh shoot, Adam <laughs> Alusio. Uh, close. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Mello is a practicing board-certified emergency physician with 30 years of clinical experience. He is a professor of emergency medicine in the Department of Emergency Medicine at the Alpert Medical School, of Brown University, and professor of health services, practice and policy at Brown University School of Public Health. For the 21 years, Dr. Mello has been the director of the Injury Prevention Center at Rhode Island Hospital, Hasbin Children's Hospital. His research is focused on behavioral change interventions to decrease injury recidivism and implementation research. He is currently the PI on an NIH R01 implementation science study and previously served on a PI of two other R01 studies and two other federal grants and several state foundation grants. Dr. Mello has extensive mentoring experience including serving as a mentor or co-mentor to more than 30 physician researchers, doctoral students, graduate students, and medical students. He currently is a primary on an NIAID, NIAID K23 and a co-primary mentor for an NIAAA K23, previously mentoring physician researchers on a KOA and a NIDA K23, as well as currently mentor for one junior faculty and previously mentored several other junior faculties on an NIH LRP awards. He has received numerous mentorships, awards, and accolades, and we are proud to present him with this award today. Right. The remainders of the awards will be announced in a rapid fire format. The Early Educator Awards go to Holly Carito Meyer, Weyer, sorry, at Stanford University, Michael Gottlieb at Rush University, and William Peterson at University of Michigan. <laughs> the Fellow Award for Critical Care goes to Mohammed Haman from Henry Ford Health System. The Fellow Award for EMS goes to James Lee from University of Cincinnati. The Fellow Award for Pediatric EM goes to Rami Asaf. The Fellow Award in Toxicology goes to Mark Rigotti. We're going to transition to, re to resident awards. These are outstanding residents and will be the future of our specialty. The Rams Leadership in Emergency Medicine Award goes to Haman Ijaz from University of Cincinnati. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
The Rams Excellent Research Award goes to James Ford, University of California, Davis. The Rams Excellent in Education Award goes to Non John Lacey from Vanderbilt University Medical Center. And our last two awards, the URI, URIM Medical Education Awards goes to Devonte Stuford from Medical College of Wisconsin and Tashi Walden from St. Louis University Medical School. Congratulations, congratulations again to all our awardees. Let's give them another round of applause and I will turn the, this back over to Darren Bean. <laughs>